channel i hope you guys are having a great day whenever you are watching this today i'm going to be doing a iphone 12 pro unboxing with a little vlog included after the unboxing i'm so excited for this video what vlogmas has already been such a blast and the days going forward are going to be even more fun so yes really quick before we hop into the video i want to say hi to any of you guys who are new here all you have to become part of the sunflower family is subscribe it is a positive happy little pocket of the internet i make college videos lifestyle a lot of long chatty vlogs over here and kind of just sharing how i find happiness and all the different bumps of life is our little a little mission over here on this channel so i would love to have you guys i reply to my comments so definitely comment down below if you guys want to chat just follow me on instagram and tiktok to interact more and yeah i don't want to talk too long because i'm so excited for this video i've been waiting to unbox this it came in the mail and i was like i need to open this but i wanted to wait because i wanted to share it with you guys so we're going to have all the aesthetic little parts i have a phone case you guys are going to get to see that i don't have it currently but it's going to be later on in the vlog it's going to come in the mail we'll do a little unboxing of that so many fun things so yeah let's hop right into the video here's a little package sneak peek i'm very excited i literally haven't upgraded my phone in so long also quick little disclaimer before we hop into the unboxing i'm paying for this one myself just so nobody gets heated in the comments all right let's head straight on into the video okay so first off i wanted to show you guys the current phone i have it's in this case from amazon i get a lot of questions about this i don't think this case is still on amazon but if you're interested comment down below and i'll find a link from a different website it's definitely fake this is not real louis vuitton but it was literally my sister's phone case and my other one broke so this phone has been through it i'll kind of show you her she's really dirty she has a like literally so crusty i can't even believe i'm showing this on the internet the phone home button is shattered she's not in the best shape i don't even know what phone this is i remember when i got it i was so excited because when i got this it's like when portrait mode first became a thing that was the best thing to happen since sliced bread but here we are now we have iphone 12 pros with literally with even better cameras which is crazy because every time i get a new phone i'm like they can't do better than this and they did better than this so yes this is the phone we're gonna be saying bye to transferring stuff over from i actually have to turn this back in so i have to go get it fixed but yeah, this one was in gold and my new phone is also in gold. So yes, but moving on to the unboxing of the new phone. I'm so excited. This phone did me good, but honestly, I did her dirty. This thing has been cracked so many times that in a battery busted one time, um, the amount of times this has been fixed, I literally think the camera is bad and like the quality is bad on my own doing. I always feel like if you get a phone fixed, it never works the same. So it's fine because we are upgrading. So I'm gonna open this up. I'm so excited. The box that comes in is super sleek. It's in this little black one and it has like plastic wrapping around it. So we are going to open that up. All right, guys, the plastic is off. Now for the exciting moment. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I feel like these phones are the most aesthetic phone Apple has ever released. Honestly, out of all the Apple products, it's just so pretty. Like, aside from the three cameras being iconic, it's literally beautiful. So, got the gold one, of course. So, like I said, I pretty much always end up getting a gold one. And I like it because I wear gold jewelry a lot of the time. Like, I don't take these off. So, and that's kind of my vibe. All right, so this is what the phone looks like when you first take it out of the box. It's so pretty. Seriously, this has to be like the most beautiful iPhone iPhone has ever come out with. The sides are all mirrored and the back is such a pretty color. I was a little bit regretful of my gold purchase and now I really love it. It's like a very faint, classy gold and the sides are the part that's like brassy. I don't know, I'm so here for it. And I just think the three cameras are so, so, so pretty. Oh, I am obsessed with this. I'm so excited. All right, guys. So this beauty is completely out of her unboxing stuff. I don't even know, like, what buttons are what. Okay, wait. Okay, this is the power button. I... <laughs> Oh, does it have a home button? I didn't even, I'm so out of loop with technology stuff. I seriously like, didn't even know. All right, we are turning her on for the first time. I'm so excited. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys up so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Y'all, I'm trying to figure out what I cloud update I'm on. This is iPhone 7 Plus, by the way, update. As we can see, I literally don't know what I'm doing. Wait guys, this is actually working. Oh, wait, okay. 
<laughs> you guys are probably like, this is embarrassing to watch. Um, it's working. I didn't expect this. It's a good day. Okay, guys. So, update right now. It says it may take a few minutes to activate. Okay, guys. We are moving forward. Face ID. I've never had this before, so I'm so excited. iPhone can recognize the unique three-dimensional features of your face. Continue. This is not going to remember me because... I literally might, you know like your phone has like people in your life and it categorizes like your friends and it saves pictures in those albums for you. I have like nine for my face. So like it's not even that I'm a catfish. Like I can't even do makeup. So it's not even like my makeup's super different. I genuinely feel like I wake up with a different face all the time. <laughs> I'm like, guys, I'm literally filming this at like nighttime. So I'm like losing it. But I literally, I don't feel like this is going to be able to keep track of all my faces. I sound psychotic, but I'm for real. Okay, we're going to try it though. So some clownery. Oh. Okay. This is kind of a lot. Okay. <gasps> Face ID is now set up. This is so bougie. I feel like fancy. Okay, next up is transfer data from iPhone. Um, okay, continue. Setting up your Apple ID. Thank goodness I automatically did this. Cause I was like, if I had to manually do this, I have no idea what my Apple ID is, so we were gonna start from the top. Like I was gonna be like, new phone, who this, new phone, send me your numbers. I was gonna have to be that person and it was gonna be embarrassing, but I was, I was willing to do it. Okay, agree. What happens if you disagree? Like setting up your Apple ID, she is so gorgeous to me. I can't wait for my phone case to come. You guys are gonna love it. Keep on watching because I'm gonna do an unboxing. I ordered it on Amazon. You can get Wadflower on Amazon, by the way, cause that's um, the brand I got. <gasps> no, it did not ask for my Apple ID password. So embarrassing. All right guys, so I figured out my Apple ID password and it is currently transferring from this phone to this one. It's really crazy how that works. I feel like the last time I got a phone, I had to like go to a Sprint store and I had to be like hooked up to a machine. I feel like that makes me sound ancient, but ooh, it's working. Okay, I agree to the terms. All right, we are on to setting up Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Okay, so they are both currently transferring data and loading. They should have to like sit next to each other to do that. And I just wanted to show you guys what else came in the box. I didn't cover that at all. This is, I believe, just like a little instructions. It has like a little Apple sticker, you know. Um, I don't know where I'd put this, but I used to love these. I used to like put these on my water bottles and stuff. I'll probably give it to my little sister. But the other thing that you get is the little charger. I don't really know i guess they don't give you a cube which i heard is like for the environment or something and they don't give you headphones which the headphones things is not a big deal because i don't usually use those anyways although i will say i can't find my airpods so it might have been handy but it's all good um i will keep looking for those i think i just left them at my apartment so until then i don't really need headphones i'm literally like always just in my bedroom at home so okay Eight minutes remaining. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Okay, so update. It just finished loading, and it's really crazy because I didn't realize like this screen would look the same as mine. Like it literally took the old screensaver, which we're gonna update in this video. This is from All Things Leanne, though. It is super cute. It says "Inner Happiness is a new success." So Face ID. <gasps> that literally worked. Okay, and like it's okay. Let's see what apps they have. <gasps> They're loading, but it literally took all of the apps from my old phone, which. Some of you might feel like that's common sense, but I didn't realize. There's a few new ones, like Translate comes with this. I didn't have that before. Um, ooh, this is fancy. Okay, I am going to do the thing where you make it all cute. If that's an option, I'm pretty sure it is. All right, this is super cool looking. I'm glad that the only app that is literally loaded is Tinder. So, um, yes, just what, just what we needed. <laughs> All right, I'll check in with you guys in like a day when things have picked up and progress has been made to make my phone cooler. All right, hey friends, so it's me from the future. I am here today to open up my case. It just came in the mail. The next clip you guys are gonna see is my actual vlog part of this video, but I did not wanna wait to open this. I'm so excited. So I ordered it off of Amazon. Amazon has wildflower cases. So that just makes it more convenient because I have Amazon Prime and I'm pretty sure this was Amazon Prime. So oh, this is so cute. It comes in little plastic casing. Don't mind my cat. She's like playing with my shoe right now. So she's being super loud. But this is what it looks like. You guys can see it is mirrored. I feel like it's just so my style and like a little different. So this was actually sold out on the Wildflower site. So I will link the Amazon one down below because that is where I was able to actually Get it, super cute, it says welcome to the fam. 
gonna put it on my phone. Yes, it's the right size. I was a little nervous. All right, pop this on. So cute. Okay, this is what it looks like on my phone. I think it's adorable. I, it's like a very like nice neon. You guys can see yourselves sitting there. It has a little bumper, which is always nice. I quite literally need a bumper because I'm like a walking hazard. I literally broke my own old phone, like I said, so many times. So yes, this is my little case unboxing. It has a cute wildflower logo all around it and it just looks really nice and these cases are super good quality i've had one before i like that they're like a little thicker and like i said the bumper is really what matters the most to me so yes i will have that link below if you guys it just comes with like a little thank you card and it's super duper cute so yes i'll see you guys in a bit but i'm very excited about my new phone case Okay, sunflowers, so good morning. Welcome to the vlog segment of this iPhone unboxing video. I'm currently getting ready to go meet up with my high school friend, Ashley, for breakfast. We're gonna go to a cute little cafe that I don't think I've been to before, but I wanted to show you guys, I'm using some new makeup this morning. Also, my hair is like half up because I haven't styled it yet, but I got this new makeup. I got this new little makeup set. That's actually why I wanted to start the vlog before I head to breakfast. Even though it's gonna be mostly like a morning vlog anyway. Just because after I'm gonna be working on a vlog and stuff anyways. But it's this little milk makeup set. I got it from Sephora for my birthday because I never picked up my birthday gift in October because there's no Sephora in Ox. I wanted to show you guys what I got and I'm gonna like test it out on my face for the first time. So I got so I got this milk makeup kush mascara. I've never tried any of their products besides I think a highlighter and then also this little milk makeup like blush type thing came with it and I've been obsessed with blush so I'm really excited to try this I put on a little bit already today but what's the harm in trying a little more and then the last thing it just came with a grip primer but I already kind of did my foundation and stuff so I'll just save that but let's go ahead and test out mascara trying new makeup is like for real my favorite thing so literally getting stuff like this makes me so excited. Ooh, I really like this. I've been using the Colossal, which I feel like I always go back to. It's just like really clumpy. And I don't have much eyelashes, so I like kind of an obnoxious mascara. This is actually doing really, really good. I don't know if you guys can see because like I said, my eyelashes are so short. But I really like the shape of this brush. Let me show you guys. You guys can kind of see. It's very like voluminous, but not clumpy, which I have had a hard time finding mascaras. So honestly, I give this like an 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10. I really like it. All right, so mascara is done. That's definitely going to replace my current mascara. But let's try this little blush moment. Super pretty color. You could probably also put a little on your lips. I think I'll do that. So... I don't want to put too much on because I already have a little bit of blush on, but I really like this color. I feel like mine are a little too pink that I own already, and this is a really nice like red color. I'm going to put a little on my nose just because I like, and then I'm going to put a little on my lips. It smells super nice, and it's like super subtle. Alright, I'm a fan, so both these products did well for me. I actually give this like a 9 out of 10 because I really like the color. The color is in work. W-E-R-K, so yes. All right, I'm gonna go because I'm in a little bit of a rush and I will see you guys at breakfast. All right, y'all, so update with you guys. A really quick OOTD before I head out the door. So this top is from Saks Fifth Avenue. I love the little bows. It's so girly and cute. The skirt's from Zaful. I'm really into the like ruffly skirts right now and I think mixing the bows with the ruffles is so girly. And then I have these thigh-high boots literally from like Target. I wore, wore them all the time in high school and got them like sophomore year of high school. So these are classics for me. So yeah, this is my little look. I kind of want to like tuck this. So I might do that really quick before I head out. And then I'm wearing this really cute purse with stripes. It's from Betsy Johnson. We know I love my Betsy Johnson and I just kind of like the different patterns mixing together that's like one of my favorite current style things so yeah all right i'll see you guys for real at breakfast this time but i thought i'd hop on really quick to show you guys the fit although it's been said many times many ways merry christmas Hey Sunflowers, so update time. I just left breakfast. You guys saw a little clip. I went to Crooked Tree. I got an ice vanilla latte, which I finished drinking. It was so good. Highly recommend if you're in like the St. Louis, St. Charles area. We also got pancakes and they were so good. And it was just so nice to see Ashley. I hadn't seen her since this summer. And I feel like in so many ways, she's super similar to me with like her goals and aspirations. And it's just like very motivating and inspiring to hang out with someone who is so like ambitious about life. And it was just such a, it's, you know, it's always such a great feeling when you leave a hangout with someone, especially as an introvert. And instead of feeling drained, you 
feel like filled up and you feel like ready to work on all the things you've been talking about and thinking about and sometimes it's just good to communicate all of your goals and everything and me and her are gonna make accountability partners and both work on things that we have been wanting to like improve on in our lives and stuff and I don't know she's just an amazing person and it was such a good time and I just feel so filled up and so ready to take on the day and take on this month and get back on all my goals that I kind of pushed on the back burner so if you're actually if you're watching this love you so much it was so good but i just got home and actually i wanted to give you guys another little update i'm very proud of myself i you guys know i've been in the transfer process it's really complicated i'm gonna have a video stay tuned throughout vlogmas i still have some stuff to figure out and also like my final official announcement -y type thing all that's to come because technically right now where i'm at i still don't really know what i'm doing i got into the two schools that are my top two schools though so i'm very excited about that things to come like i said but I hadn't really made a lot of moves with actually leaving on my side of things. I don't know. I feel like it just, I didn't really do anything to make it feel real. And this is the first time it's felt real. I just texted my magazine. Did you guys know I was the director of social media for Square Magazine? Follow them on Instagram. It was so much fun. I think they're going to do amazing things. I think that magazine's going to turn into something so cool. We've already just done so many amazing things this semester. And that was by far like my favorite part of Olmus and my favorite thing that I did. And so it was kind of hard for me to like finally get myself to like text and be like I'm not gonna be able to return because obviously you can't be on staff if you're not a student at the school so I just kind of told them like I'm leaving and that you know if they need anything or any help changing things over since I was a director that I would love to be a part of it if they need anything but yeah that just made things feel super real and really makes me feel like I'm turning the page and I'm on to something new and I think I'm gonna probably work on some other college transfer stuff today because it's kind of, I don't know, I feel very motivated right now and I feel ready to make all the changes that I have been ready to take. So sending that text is like a big one because it just, it makes everything a lot more real. I didn't want to prematurely send it. Like the reason I've also waited to send it is up until very recently i didn't know for sure what i was going to do and i didn't want to leave magazine and then end up at almost again because i don't want to be there with, i wouldn't want to be there without magazine like that was the best part and it was such a fun thing for me and it was such a good experience and learning experience and everything um but now that i'm pretty positive like right now basically what got me to make the change is i was like right now we mom talked about it and i was like if i didn't have enough time to get everything switched to change schools this spring I think I would rather take a gap semester this spring than I would rather go to Ole Miss this spring. Not that I hate Ole Miss, but just financially doing online school there doesn't make sense. And I'd rather save my money to do some traveling and like a few other goals of mine. So stay tuned because I'm still figuring it all out. I got into some schools though, so I'm pretty sure I will be in school this spring. That's my goal. And transferring is like a lot more than you would think. So I'll keep you guys updated throughout the rest of Vlogmas about that. But I did just want to pop on and tell you guys I'm making things happen. Things are becoming real and I'm ready even though change can be scary change is good and if you don't always have to you don't have to you're not stuck this is my little message of the day like you're not stuck anywhere if you are ready for something different like go for it you know what I mean so yes I have so many goals and I might go journal actually I want to start doing a page every day of ideas like all my different I feel like I always have constant like business ideas and all these kinds of things running through my head and I want to start writing them down and then I also want to work on a page about all the self-growth things that I want to work on because in December I really want to start living my best life and I'm ready to live my best life and I feel like I finally really just have full acceptance as to where I'm at in my journey and like the things that I want to work on about me and you know health goals fitness goals all those things I'm ready so December is going to be awesome uh, because I am pre-filming this so it isn't technically December yet but this vlogmas is going to be so motivating guys because I'm ready to be back to living my best life so all right I'm gonna head inside I might get a few more clips today I don't want to make this video too long but there's my little update all right guys so i just came in the house i wanted to just put you guys on these really quick i've talked about my vlogs before but my mom just went to the grocery store so very excited to come home to this you guys know these are my favorite drinks you get them from walmart for literally like 50 cents cotton candy is one of my favorite flavors um cherry limeade super good i haven't tried blackberry lemonade i'm gonna try a bunch of these strawberry and cream is like super desserty tasting so yeah stay updated in my vlogs because i'll probably try some of these flavors i haven't had all of them i know i put you guys onto this cherry limeade and this but lots of new things okay sunflowers so update time my hair is crazy because i've been in bed it's currently nighttime i didn't like really update you guys today because literally all i did today was work on my vlogmas intro which you guys saw in the beginning of this video and do a bunch of editing vlogmas stuff i did a picture on instagram which i'm trying to like make my captions more bloggy i'll put my instagram here just like working on that but i wanted to hop on because i was like wait i was vlogging today so 
like I said, I did that, but I just had a random spread of energy and I'm trying to get back into working out every single day. My challenge for myself is even if it's a day that I don't, oh my gosh, my hair. My challenge for myself is that even if it's like a day that I don't want to work out, I at least do like a 30 minute workout at the least. So that kind of like push myself through my different workout funks. My problem is I like get in a really good cycle of it. And I've talked about this so many times on my channel and then I fall out of it. And I'm just, we're not here for that anymore. Like starting December, I'm getting back on all of my goals and being my best self possible like I talked about earlier. So let's head downstairs. I'll show you guys my little new bike setup we have at the house. It's actually really nice and also it's great because I can literally work out my pajamas. I'm literally wearing them PJs right now. So, all right, let's head downstairs and I'll show you guys. I also can watch TV while I do it. So it's kind of a win-win. And then I usually just do like a YouTube video workout afterwards. If that's all that I do for the day, it's better than nothing. All right, y'all. So our workout bike is in our basement. I love vlogging this because I feel like I can just do casual stuff like this. Like it's literally... You guys can't see but it's 9 30 at night and i'm like you know what i'm gonna go work out in my slippers if you like that sometimes so i know i've shown you guys my basement before but this is from my old room if you guys remember we're actually thinking about setting up a little office area over here for me since i'm gonna be home for like in a very long amount of time and not compared to what i would have ever thought so we might be setting that up that's why i've not done that out yet but this is like where i literally work out guys like very relaxed situation but it's literally perfect especially for those days where you're not motivated i want to get my gym membership restarted back up so stay tuned for that journey because i think i do more intense workouts but this is such a great even like to have on top of the gym like do a little home workout you guys know i have my bike at school but i love this one that it's a sit down moment so they're both great, but this is what we have here is my parents' bike. So I sit on here, I watch TV, and it's just amazing. I've been watching New Girl. New Girl is like seriously the best show to ever happen to me, and I just finished it yesterday. So I think I'm probably gonna watch like a documentary or a YouTube or something. But yeah, I'll set you guys up so you guys can kind of see how it goes. Super casual, I got my literal PJs on, so it's a good night. I try, also this helps me go to bed. So like I'll do this late at night all the time because then I can go to bed immediately after because i'm wiped out and i'll do like my night routine and it's just it's perfect i'm going to get a gym membership guys but if when i do that i'm going to try to still do this before bed every night because it seriously helps me not have like a wave of anxiety before i go to bed i can just like chill just be tired and actually sleep it's amazing All right, y'all, so I just finished biking. I'm straight up sitting on the stairs right now to end this video. I know this was literally like barely a vlog and the rest of my Vlogmas videos, like literally tomorrow, I'm gonna start filming ones where I show you my entire day in the life, back to my productive day in my life vlogs. I just kind of in this iPhone unboxing video, I wanted to give you guys like a taste of what my vlogs are like in case you weren't here so you kind of see like they're like, chatty, casual, but still super fun. So yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for my next episode of Vlogmas. Love you guys so much and appreciate you guys so much. And I'm very excited to experiment with using my new phone and if you guys want any updates on how i like it and stuff i can include that in future videos since i'm literally filming every day just comment down below and i can update you guys all right i'll see you sometimes tomorrow i was gonna say my next video but like tomorrow <laughs>